Welcome everyone to the Hobby and Tech Warrior. J4 here and in this video I have something airsoft for you guys. I was studying the recoil impulse of the WeTech FT26 when this happened. As I was recording some dry fire sessions, the takedown lever eventually gave out and split in half. So for this video we are going to replace that takedown lever. Tools I used for this procedure include a small flathead screwdriver, a used toothbrush, and some silicon oil spray for lubrication. You will also need the replacement takedown lever. I found one under the garter brand. It says it is made out of steel which should mean it's more durable than the original. On the packaging it also says it'll work with the WeTech brand. So we should be okay there. So to start, I grab the lower frame, and using the toothbrush, I clean up around the area where the cutout for the takedown lever slots in. I try to take the debris out, while being mindful not to scratch off what's left of the finish. As you can see, there are a lot of wear marks and the paint fades quite easily on the frame. Looking inside the frame, I noticed that there was an indent there that's spring-loaded, which keeps the takedown lever from sliding out once it's installed. The way this works, I found, was that you would take a long tool to push down behind the indent to move it out of the way. It doesn't take much force to do this. You'll feel it hit a stop, at which point you should stop applying further pressure to keep anything from getting damaged. I found that using a properly sized micro flathead screwdriver works really well here. Just try not to apply excessive force. And for curiosity's sake, I pulled out the Tokyo Marui P226 lower frame to see how their takedown lever retainer was implemented. And I found that it was very similar in design and function, just with some aesthetic differences. Also, I noticed that the Marui design had more travel, which makes popping the takedown lever in and out quite easy. Back to the WeTech F226, I took some lubrication. I used a can of Icia silicon spray and spray the surface of the hole where the takedown lever slides into. The lubrication will provide a protective film on the contact areas to reduce wear and tear and scratching. Then I took the replacement takedown lever and sprayed it down as well. After the contact area of the replacement lever and frame are lubricated, I began to thread the takedown lever shaft into the first cutout on the side of the frame. I used the micro flathead screwdriver to move the indent out of the way and proceeded to slide the new takedown lever further in. I took care to note and align the retaining tab on the lever that goes into the corresponding cutout on the frame. The takedown lever won't go all the way in otherwise, and you could end up damaging something if you force it in the wrong way. With the tab and cutout aligned, I just pushed the takedown lever all the way through to the other side of the frame while keeping it as straight as possible until the spring load indent locks it in place. After the lever has been secured, articulate the lever to see if it is functioning correctly. That completes the replacement of the takedown lever that broke, and I'm ready to reassemble the airsoft pistol back together. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe for updates on future videos, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.